They exist in the fringes of society, shrouded in secrecy and fueled by manipulation. Cults. But how do these groups manage to ensnare ordinary people in their web? Have you ever wondered how seemingly rational individuals become devoted followers, relinquishing their possessions, their freedom, even their very sense of self? In this chilling exploration, we'll delve into the dark psychology of cults. We'll dissect their recruitment tactics, the insidious mind control techniques they employ, and the harrowing experiences of those who escape. But most importantly, we'll offer hope for those trapped and a roadmap to recovery, for those who have already broken free. So, fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to take a journey into the unsettling world of cults. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. The definition and characteristics of cults now, the term cult gets thrown around a lot. But what exactly defines a cult? Unlike mainstream religions with established traditions and open practices, cults are often secretive and insular. They're typically led by a charismatic leader, often with a god like Complex, who demands absolute obedience and devotion. Now, don't get confused. Religion can provide a sense of community and purpose but cults take that to an extreme. They isolate members from their loved ones, control every aspect of their lives, and instill a constant sense of fear and paranoia. Critical thinking and questioning are discouraged, replaced by blind faith in the leader and his teachings. Dissent is not tolerated, and members are often subjected to manipulation and even abuse, all in the name of achieving some twisted form of enlightenment. As we move forward, we'll dissect these characteristics further and explore the dark psychology that makes cults so dangerous. Stay tuned. The psychological appeal of cults. So, why would anyone willingly enter the clutches of a cult? The answer, my friends, is far more complex than you might think. Many people who join cults are at a vulnerable point in their lives. They may be struggling with loss, isolation, or a lack of direction. Cults exploit these vulnerabilities by offering a sense of belonging, a ready-made community that promises to fill the void in their lives. They dangle the carrot of meaning and purpose, a clear path to happiness and fulfillment. This can be incredibly seductive for those feeling lost and adrift. But there's another key ingredient in the cult recipe, the charismatic leader. These individuals are masters of manipulation. They project an aura of authority and knowledge, often promising a path to hidden truths or salvation. Their charm and magnetism can be incredibly difficult to resist, especially for those yearning for guidance. Don't be fooled by the facade. Behind the mesmerizing smile lies a cunning and manipulative mind. Leaders exploit followers' emotional vulnerabilities, slowly chipping away at their sense of self and critical thinking. In the next segment, we'll delve deeper into the mind control techniques. Cults use to turn ordinary people into devoted followers. It's a chilling exploration you won't want to miss. Mind control techniques, breaking down your defenses. Now, we enter the truly terrifying realm of mind control. Cults employ a chilling arsenal of tactics designed to break down a person's individuality and replace it with complete devotion to the leader and their ideology. One key method is isolation. They cut you off from your loved ones, your support system, leaving you entirely dependent on the cult for your social needs. This creates a sense of vulnerability and makes you more susceptible to manipulation. Repetition plays a huge role too. Through constant chanting, lectures, and indoctrination sessions, they bombard you with their message, relentlessly hammering at home until questioning becomes unthinkable. Take the infamous Heaven's Gate cult, for example. 
They bombarded their followers with messages about the approaching Comet Hale Bop, twisting it into a sign of their imminent ascension. Through relentless repetition, they instilled a terrifying sense of urgency, making their followers believe suicide was the only escape. But it doesn't have to be as dramatic as mass suicide. Fear is another powerful tool. Cults create an us versus them mentality, painting the outside world as dangerous and corrupt. They convince their followers that only the cult offers safety and salvation, fostering a constant sense of paranoia and fear. In the next segment, we'll expose the insidious recruitment strategies cults employ to lure unsuspecting victims into their web. Stay with us as the journey into the psychology of cults gets even more unsettling. Recruitment Strategies The Lure of the Fold Now, how do cults manage to snag seemingly normal people off the street? Believe it or not, their recruitment tactics can be surprisingly sophisticated. Cults are experts at identifying vulnerabilities. They target individuals who are feeling lost alone or questioning their place in the world. College campuses, with their transient populations and atmosphere of self-discovery, are prime hunting grounds. Here's where it gets interesting. Forget dark alleys and creepy whispers. Cult recruiters often appear friendly, approachable, even charismatic. They might offer free workshops or seminars on topics like finding your purpose or achieving inner peace. These seemingly innocuous events are designed to lure potential recruits in and expose them to the cult's ideology. They'll shower you with attention, making you feel special and valued. They'll offer a sense of belonging you might be craving. It can be incredibly seductive, especially for someone feeling isolated or adrift. But beneath that veneer of kindness lies a sinister agenda. Cults are after one thing, complete control. In the next segment, we'll explore how cults manipulate and control their members. Once they're reeled in, stay tuned, because things are about to get dark. Manipulation and control within cults. The web tightens. Welcome back to the inner sanctum. Here, the once vibrant individuals you saw before are slowly transformed Cults are experts at weaving a web of control so intricate it can feel inescapable. Let's dissect the tactics they employ. First, there's information control. Imagine being cut off from the outside world with access to news and media strictly monitored. Cult leaders paint themselves as the sole source of truth, feeding you a distorted reality that reinforces their agenda. Fear becomes a constant companion. They might warn of impending societal collapse or demonize anyone who questions them, leaving you utterly dependent on the cult for safety. Then comes sleep deprivation. Imagine being forced to attend lengthy indoctrination sessions late into the night, leaving you exhausted and unable to think critically. This weakens your resolve and makes you more susceptible to manipulation, but manipulation goes beyond external factors. Cults exploit your deepest vulnerabilities. They prey on your past traumas, your loneliness, your longing for belonging. They offer a twisted sense of purpose and community, making it feel like leaving is abandoning your only family. This creates a powerful emotional manipulation known as a trauma bond. You crave the leader's approval terrified of losing the love, bombing they showered you with initially. Dissent becomes unthinkable, replaced by a sickening dread of ostracization and punishment. Financial exploitation is another weapon in their arsenal. Cults may demand exorbitant tithes, force members to take out loans for the cause, or even confiscate their belongings. This creates a cycle of dependence making it financially difficult to leave. Don't underestimate the power of forced labor, either. Many cults require members to work for free businesses they control, further 
isolating them from the outside world and draining their resources. Now, let's take a look at the following three horrifying examples. 1. Jonestown Massacre, a descent into delusion. The Jonestown Massacre of 1978 remains one of the most shocking and tragic events in American history. Led by the charismatic but increasingly paranoid Jim Jones, the People's Temple relocated from California to a remote jungle commune in Guiana called Jonestown Origins. Founded in the 1950s, the People's Temple initially attracted followers with its message of racial equality and social justice. Jones, a charismatic preacher, presented himself as a messianic figure descent into darkness. As Jones's mental state deteriorated, the People's Temple became increasingly isolated and controlling. He convinced followers to sell their belongings, cut ties with family, and hand over their passports. Fear tactics and paranoia became rampant. The massacre, fearing a government conspiracy and facing mounting pressure, Jones orchestrated a mass murder-suicide on November 18, 1978. Over 900 people, including hundreds of children, died from cyanide poisoning. The horrific event exposed the dangers of unchecked charismatic leadership and cult control. 2. NXIVM – A Web of Exploitation an XIVM disguised as a self-help and personal development program masked a dark underbelly of manipulation and abuse. Founded in 1998 by Keith Ranier and Nancy Salzman, NXIVM targeted wealthy individuals with promises of personal growth and empowerment. Predatory Recruitment NXIVM used multi-level marketing tactics to lure people in charging exorbitant fees for workshops and seminars. They preyed on individuals seeking self-improvement and belonging, DAOs and collateral control. NXIVM's inner circle, a secret subgroup called DOS, Dominus, Obsequious, Sororium, Latin for Master Obedient Sisters, exploited women through forced labor, sleep deprivation, and branding ceremonies. Members were coerced, to provide compromising collateral information to ensure silence and compliance. Unraveling and Aftermath In 2017, exposes in the New York Times and investigations by authorities led to the arrest of Rainier and Salzman. NXIVM's fall exposed the insidious nature of cults that exploit the desire for growth and connection while inflicting emotional and psychological abuse. 3. Branch Davidians a deadly standoff. The Branch Davidians, a splinter group of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, became infamous for their 1993 standoff with the FBI in Waco, Texas. Led by David Koresh, who claimed to be the final prophet, the group stockpiled weapons and retreated to their heavily fortified compound. Messianic beliefs, Koresh reinterpreted religious texts claiming he was the branch, prophesied in the Book of Revelation. He isolated his followers, controlling information and restricting communication with the outside world. Waco standoff and siege, fears of illegal weapons led to a federal raid, escalating into a 51-day standoff. Tragically, the siege ended with a fire that consumed the compound resulting in the deaths of 76 Branch Davidians, including Koresh and many children. Legacy of Waco The Branch Davidians highlight the dangers of apocalyptic cults that exploit religious ideology to isolate and control followers. The Waco siege remains a controversial event, raising questions about law enforcement tactics and the role of religious freedom. These harrowing journeys into the world of cults offer valuable lessons we can all carry with us. The power of charismatic leadership. Beware of leaders who demand absolute obedience and isolate their followers. Healthy leadership fosters critical thinking and open communication. Question everything. 
don't blindly accept information. Maintain a healthy skepticism and do your own research on any group claiming to hold all the answers. Value. Critical thinking. Cults thrive on blind faith. Develop your critical thinking skills. Analyze information objectively. And don't be afraid to ask questions. Isolation is a red flag. If a group encourages cutting ties with loved ones or restricts contact with the outside world, be wary. Healthy relationships and open communication are essential. Beware of manipulation tactics. Cults often use love bombing, fear mongering, and sleep deprivation to control their followers. Recognize these tactics and trust your gut if something feels off. Healthy communities don't demand everything. Cults often exploit members financially and demand excessive amounts of time and resources. Healthy communities foster individual growth without sacrificing personal well-being. The importance of support systems. Having strong connections with family and friends can provide a crucial safety net. Don't be afraid to reach out for help if you suspect someone you know is involved in a cult. Knowledge is power. Educate yourself about the characteristics of cults and their recruitment strategies. The more you know, the better equipped you are to identify and avoid them. Hope and resilience exist. Leaving a cult can be a long and difficult journey, but recovery is possible. Support groups and therapy can help survivors rebuild their lives. The web of manipulation and control is suffocating. It destroys individuality, crushes self-esteem, and leaves members feeling utterly broken. But in the next segment, we'll offer a beacon of hope. We'll explore the harrowing process of escaping a cult and the long road to recovery, the harrowing journey of escape, breaking free from the cult's grip. Leaving a cult is no easy feat. It's a harrowing journey fraught with emotional turmoil and immense pressure. Imagine being surrounded by people who believe everything the leader says. Imagine being told your loved ones are dangerous and the outside world is corrupt. Deconstructing that reality and finding the courage to escape is an incredibly difficult first step. The emotional and psychological barriers are immense. Fear of the unknown, fear of retaliation from the cult, and a deep sense of isolation often keep people trapped. The cult becomes their entire world, and leaving means giving up everything they've known. Escape is just the beginning. Rebuilding a shattered life and identity takes time and immense courage. In the next segment, we'll explore the long road to recovery for those who escape the clutches of cults, healing the scars. The long road to recovery, leaving a cult, is a monumental act of courage. But the journey doesn't end there. Recovering from the psychological and emotional manipulation takes time, support, and immense strength. Here's how survivors can begin to rebuild their lives. Building a strong support system. Reconnecting with supportive family and friends is crucial. Surround yourself with people who love and accept you unconditionally. Consider joining a support group specifically for cult survivors. You'll find strength and understanding from those who have walked a similar path. Professional help is essential. Cult manipulation can leave deep emotional scars. Therapy with a qualified professional experienced in cult recovery can help you process trauma, rebuild self-esteem, and develop healthy coping mechanisms. Journaling and self-reflection Writing down your experiences and emotions can be a powerful tool for healing. Journaling allows you to process your trauma, identify triggers, and track your progress. Finding healthy practices. Activities like meditation, yoga, or spending time in nature can promote relaxation and emotional well-being. Explore healthy hobbies that bring you joy and a sense of accomplishment. 
The recovery process is unique to each survivor. Be patient with yourself, celebrate small victories, and remember you are not alone. With time and support, you can heal from the trauma and build a fulfilling life, breaking the chains of manipulation. Throughout this exploration, we've delved into the dark psychology of cults. We've seen how they exploit vulnerabilities, manipulate emotions, and control minds. But within this darkness, there is a flicker of hope. The courage of those who escape is a testament to the human spirit's resilience. Recovery is possible, and support systems exist to help survivors rebuild their lives. But the fight doesn't end there. Cults continue to thrive in the shadows, preying on the unsuspecting. We must be vigilant by educating ourselves about cult tactics and manipulation techniques, we can empower ourselves and protect our loved ones. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What surprised you the most about cults? And for more explorations into the fascinating and sometimes frightening world of human psychology, subscribe to our channel. Remember, knowledge is power. Let's use it to break the chains of manipulation and build a future free from the darkness of cults.